Hello everyone, Adikin here. I wanted to start the video by saying Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you all are having a great holiday, obviously depending on when you guys watch this. But I'm so happy to bring you guys another CMF draft. This one I have been posting a lot about on my Instagram. And I am really happy that everything is finally done and I can show you guys these figures. This series also had the help of Zebrigzack on Instagram and Nico Lego Yus on Instagram and YouTube. I'll put their social links in the description. Anyways, this series was originally supposed to be split into six figures that I drew and six that Zebrix drew, but with busyness around the holidays, I ended up drawing 10 out of the 12 and Zebrix drew the other two. Nico helped with the bag template, which I will show and explain toward the end. But thank you again for all the help and support for this classic Christmas movie CMF draft. So for the first figure, we have one of, if not the most classic Christmas character, which is the Ralphie with the famous bunny pajamas from A Christmas Story. This one doesn't have much detail or an accessory, but there wasn't really much to add to this figure. I did add feet print, which I think turned out pretty well. For the next figure, we have Ralphie's brother, Randy. I based his look off of the outfit that he wore to school when he said, the beanie and the scarf wasn't enough to cover his entire face, so I added some scarf to the face print as well. Next up is another very classic Christmas character, Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. For his accessory, he has the gun that he shot the two bandits with. The detail on the hair is very small, but that's because my original software didn't highlight the, ver the pieces very well, which is why I switched to Mecha Bricks. For the second Home Alone figure, I chose Harry, who is one of the wet bandits. For his accessory, I included a crowbar. I actually think I should have added some feathers or red hand or some sort of damage from Kevin, but I didn't really think of that when drawing the figure. For the figures from the Santa Claus, I of course did Santa Claus or Scott Calvin, played by Tim Allen, and I tried to capture his look from the movie by making his suit a darker red and having the detail around his eyes. I also included his son Charlie in the series. He has a snow globe that the head elf gave him, which is a bit of a different build from the one I gave Buddy. I was going to use the Will Byers hairpiece, but my program I was using didn't have that hairpiece yet, so I went th with the closest one I could find. The next movie we chose was Elf, so I had to of course include Buddy the Elf. I'm actually really happy with how this figure turned out. He has the snow globe that Papa Elf gave him that has the uh, Empire State Building, which was where his dad worked. I would have included print on the snow globe, but that would have been really hard with the perspective and how it's a sphere and everything. I also had to include Walter Hobbs as one of the elf figures because of his significance to the story. He has Miles Finch's notebook as the accessory, which is a one by one tile in black with gold lettering that says Miles Finch. I had to include one of, if not the funniest Christmas movies yet, Christmas Vacation. Clark Griswold was one of the figures drawn by Zebra Zack. He has his classic look with a sand hat as well as a strand of lights for his accessory. This figure turned out really good, so good job Zebrix. I drew Uncle Eddie, who has his bathrobe from the scene where he said, I also included the moose mug as the accessory, which is the only new mold for the series. For the last movie, we chose Die Hard for John McClane. He has the tank top with a lot of blood stains. Uh, for his accessory, he has the gun in gunmetal gray. He also has scars on his face as well as stubble. For the last figure, we have Hans Gruber, who, which was also drawn by Zero Zack. He has his revolver as the accessory and a black coat. This figure also turned out great, so good job, Zebrix. Here's the bag design, which this template is made by Nico Lego Yus, as I said in the beginning. Thank you, everyone, again, that helped with this series. I'm really happy how it turned out, and uh, thank you guys for so much for watching, and Merry Christmas.